So to start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new, and select Akadiso 3D template for metric units, and click open. Now I'm just gonna arrange my window. So go to view, select tile vertically, gonna move this one to the other side. So this is my reference drawing. Click tile vertically again. I'm just gonna adjust the windows. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this uh, drop down arrow here. This one here. By the view cube, select parallel. And I'm gonna work on uh, using southeast isometric. I'm gonna start with circle. So C for circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 250, which is this one here, which is also this one. And extrude this one for 18 units. No, this one is not 18. This is 28. This one here. All right. So I'm just going to annotate. Alright, so extrude, so go to home, and inside the modeling panel, select extrude command, select the object you want to extrude, move your cursor upward for 28 units. Another circle, so C for circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 152 which is this one here, which is also this one. Now, I'm going to extrude this circle for 18 units. So, enter 18, which is this one here. Now, turn your drawing around or upside down. You can do that by pressing the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and create a circle here at the bottom. So, snap the center. Type D for diameter option and enter 90, which is the distance from this point from here, from this point to this point. Now another circle, snap the center. Okay, shift right click to override. So center, just hover over on the side, snap that. Type D for diameter option and enter 73.92. Now, the distance from that point, the distance from here to here is, uh, let me annotate this one. From this point to the midpoint is 30. So what I'm going to do is select that smaller circle and move. You can use anywhere as base point. Move your cursor downward. Make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking. Object snap tracking. Object snap and selection cycling. So just move your cursor downward. Or you can turn on the ortho mode to be safe. Move your cursor downward for 30 units. Alright. So now I'm going to use loft command. So go to home. Click this drop down arrow. Select loft. Click the circle and click the circle, enter and enter again. Now I'm going to combine all the objects to use union command inside the solid editing panel and just window the whole thing. Now I'm just going to push this, uh, move this upward above the plane and bring your drawing to front view. Now, I'm going to draw this portion here, this one here, for the bore. So, well, I could just turn off the grid and I'm going to start uh, with southwest, southwest isometric or southeast. Alright, so circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Uh, make sure to change the direction of the UCS. So, inside the coordinates panel, select Z axis vector or Z axis vector. Click anywhere on the screen and just point it upward. So circle again, click anywhere, type D for diameter option and enter 60 units, which is from this point to this point. And uh, extrude this one upward for 
And the height for that is 61 units as shown here. So extrude upward for 61 units. Now, shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time to turn this around. So see again for circle, snap that center. Or if it won't show, just press the shift key and select center there. You see that circle? And type D for diameter option and enter 32, which is this one here. And the height for that is 15. Now extrude the circle, so select that. Extrude downward for 15 units. Now combine the whole thing. So union command inside the solid editing panel. Select that. Move this one from center to the center here at the bottom. And you subtract command inside the solid editing panel. Select the object you want to keep. Right click and select the object you want to subtract. There you go. Now I'm going to bring this drawing to top view and draw a guide I'm just gonna change this to wireframe draw this guide here I wanna draw a circle to guide these uh, five bolt holes and the diameter for that or the radius for that circle is from the center up to this point is the radius and the radius is 100 so I'm going to draw a circle from center, uh, hover over on the side here, and snap this center, shift right click, snap the center here, and enter 100. Now we have this guide. Now, I'm going to draw another circle from quadrant over here and enter D for diameter option and enter 18. Now, I'm just going to use X-ray. I think it's easier to visualize. There you go. And type A and from the selection, select array polar. Select this object. Right click and specify center point of array. You can use this one as center right click and select items and change the number of items to five and enter again now erase this circle because it's just a guide so delete and select one one of the circles and then just right click and select similar and extrude this one downward up to a quadrant over here subtract command select the object you want to keep right click and select the objects that you want to subtract this one here this one click that face click select that and select this one and enter now i'm gonna poke a hole through this uh, face here this one here and I need a guide and I need a circle here with a um, radius of 53 units. So C for circle, snap the center, and enter 53 for radius. Now I'm going to draw another circle and uh, snap this, uh, okay, here looking from top view, this quadrant here. Snap the quadrant and enter 9 for radius. There you go. And then extrude this one. And the height of the extrusion is this one here from this point to this point is 32. And then I'm just gonna annotate this one. And from the point to the point is uh, 5.2. So extrude this one downward for 32 and I'm just going to change this to wireframe because I'm going to attach a cone 
So inside the solid edit, uh, no, inside modeling panel, see inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select cone. And snap that center, snap the quadrant. So just press sh shift key and quadrant and attach that and bring your cone downward for 5.2. And combine this one. So inside the solid editing panel, select union command. Click that and select this um, cone. Now, I'm just going to change this to x-ray maybe. It's easier. Now, I'm going to array this object here. So type in A and select array polar from the selection. Select that. This one here. Right click and specify center point of array. Just snap the. So shift right click and select center. So snap that center. Right click. And select items. And change the number of items to 4. And enter again. Let me check here. So this one here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Change this to conceptual. And then use subtract command and select the object you want to keep. Right click and select the objects that you want to use to subtract. So this one, this one here, this object, and this object. Enter. I'm just going to erase that. And I think we are done. So I'm just going to move this one. Now we're good. I thought we have um, other 2D objects there inside. So we're good. I'm just going to change this to realistic. And I think we are done. So... Please uh, hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe.